Hello techies and welcome back. This is the fifth part of SAS numeric function. I'm your instructor Sambhav. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of my latest video. In this session, we are going to discuss about two more functions called as ABS which stands for absolute and mod which stands for modular functions. And once we have understood the concept of absolute and mod function, we will do some practical examples of uh, these functions. Now, uh, I have already given you the list of these functions and till now you are aware that we have discussed till log 10 from min, max, sum, floor till log 10 we have already discussed. Uh, ABS and mod are the two functions which we are going to discuss in this particular session. A very simple definition of ABS is that it returns the absolute value of the argument. Now when we say absolute value it means that ABS function will just eliminate the negative sign from the numbers and give you the result. I'll repeat it. It will just eliminate the negative sign from the given numbers and it will return you the result. Let's say for example I have been given a number let's say for example uh, minus 99.9 9 assume now when I'm saying ABS ABS which is absolute so what it will do is it will just eliminate the negative sign it will not do any round off no integer nothing just it will eliminate the negative sign so the result of this would be 99.99 let's say for example another example would be 11.11 one one so as you see that there is no negative sign here so the value returned on executing an absolute function would be 11.11 itself because there is no negative let's take a third example of let's say 10.4 let's say 10.4 so abs absolute value would be 10.4 itself Again, I'm repeating it. Absolute function, it does not do any round off or does not return only the integer part, but it only eliminates the negative sign and return the value. Let's say minus 5.67. So the ABS function, the absolute value of this would be 5.67. Let's do an example to understand this. So let me create a data set called as ABS1 and let's say A is equal to uh, minus 99.99 and let's say I'm storing the result absolute value of ABS is equal to so I will use the ABS function and then I'll pass argument. So this argument could be a numeric variable or a numeric constant. So in our example, it is a numeric variable. Let's say for example, B is equal to, let's say uh, 11.11, right? And absolute value of B would be ABS of B, correct? Let's take another example. In this example, we will pass a numeric constant in spite of a variable. So in the previous two examples, we have passed numeric variable. So here we'll pass a numeric constant, let's say 5.67, correct? Run and let's print the result. Proc print data is equal to abs1 run. Now let's execute the code to see the result. So you see minus 99.99, so the absolute value is 99.99. The negative sign has been eliminated. Similarly for B, you see 11.11, since there was no negative sign, so absolute function has just returned the value. And in the C, the input value was minus 5.67, so SAS has returned 5.67 as a result of the ABS value. I hope it is clear. Now another function which we are going to discuss is a mod. Mod function, it basically returns the remainder of the 
division what we are trying to what i'm trying to say is so we have done this division n number of times let's say for example 2 is divided by sorry 10 is divided by 2 so 2 5s are 10 so i am getting 0 so this is called as a remainder this is the remainder of it and this is what the mod function will return this is what the mod function will return right so this is nothing but a divisor this is a dividend and this is a quotient so mod function will return you the remainder so this is a remainder let's say for example 10 is divided by 3 so we can say 3 3 is a 9 and in this case the remainder is 1 so mod function will return you this value the modulo which is nothing but the remainder so let's have a look at the syntax so variable name which is going to store the result then the mod function argument argument is nothing but your it could be your numeric variable or numeric constant and then you have to specify the divisor with which we are going to divide let's do an example to solve uh, to for this particular program uh, for this particular example so data mod underscore one so let's say result one is equal to mod of 10 that is nothing but your number and the divisor is 2 so this will return a modulo of 0 right because 2 5s are 10 so it is completely divisible so the remainder would be 0 now let's take mod 10 comma 3 so we are dividing 3 3 is a divisor here so 3 3 is a 10 so the remainder should be 1 let's take one more example so mod of 10 comma 4 so 4 2 is a 8 so the remainder is 2 so let's print the result proc print data is equal to mod underscore 1 run let's execute this code to see the result and you see the result is 0 1 and 2 so this has given me 0 4 2 is 8 uh, 3 3 is 9 so the remainder is 1 so this is the value and 4 2 is 8 which is a remainder is 2 here i hope the mod function is clear right so mod function will return you the remainder of it Thank you so much for your time and patience guys you have a wonderful day ahead and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thank you so much